I stood on the bridge at midnight as the clocks were striking the hour, and the moon rose o'er the city behind the dark church tower. I saw her bright reflection in the waters under me, like a golden goblet falling and sinking into the sea. And far in the hazy distance of that lovely night in June, the blaze of the flaming furnace gleamed redder than the moon. Among the long black rafters the wavering shadows lay, and the current that came from the ocean seemed to lift and bear them away. As sweeping and eddying through them rose the belated tide, and streaming into the moonlight the seaweed floated wide. And like those waters rushing among the wooden piers, a flood of thoughts came o'er me that filled my eyes with tears. How often, oh, how often, in the days that had gone by, I had stood on that bridge at midnight and gazed on that wave and sky. How often, oh, how often, I had wished that ebbing tide would bear me away on its bosom o'er the ocean wild and wide. For my heart was hot and restless, and my life was full of care, and the burden laid upon me seemed greater than I could bear. But now it has fallen from me and is buried in the sea, and only the sorrow of others throw its shadow over me. Yet whenever I cross the river on its bridge with wooden piers, like the odor of brine from the ocean comes the thought of other years. And I think how many thousands of care-encumbered men, each bearing his burden of sorrow, have crossed the bridge since then. I see the long procession still passing to and fro, the young heart hot and restless, and the old subdued and slow. And forever and forever, as long as the river flows, as long as the heart has passions, as long as life has woes, the moon and its broken reflection, and its shadow shall appear, as the symbol of love in heaven, and its wavering image here.